why you still have periods when your FSH indicates you're menopausal. Let's talk about it. So you must be going through menopause with hot flashes, brain fog, mood swings, vaginal dryness, but at least you don't have any more periods, right? And then the unexpected happens. Your healthcare provider even ran a blood test, an FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, and it was high. An FSH over 30 means you're menopausal, no longer producing enough estrogen, but that doesn't necessarily mean that your bleeding stops. In fact, it can take a couple of years or longer if you're using hormone replacement therapy to stop bleeding. Menopausal bleeding is not an actual period. It's more of a breakthrough bleed caused by hormonal imbalance. Your uterus lining is built up by estrogen and stabilized by progesterone, and your adrenal glands make some estrogen and your fat cells store estrogen. So after menopause, even if you're not using hormone replacement therapy, you can still have enough estrogen on board to build up your uterine lining. Yet, when estrogen is too low, your uterine lining becomes friable, which leads to spotting, especially after intercourse or high-impact exercise. And when progesterone is too low compared to estrogen, your periods after menopause are heavy. When you're under considerable stress, the progesterone you're taking as hormone replacement therapy is used by your adrenals to make the stress hormone cortisol. And this means that your menopausal bleeding can be excessive. If you're postmenopausal and you haven't had a period in over two years and you start bleeding, get checked by your healthcare provider. A pelvic ultrasound can determine if your uterine lining is too thick, which can be an early sign of endometrial cancer. Remember, most menopausal women do not just stop bleeding. Their uterus kind of peters out over a year or two. While using hormone replacement therapy can really help mitigate the symptoms of menopause like hot flashes, insomnia, moodiness, brain fog, your uterus takes its time adjusting to the exogenous, not your own hormones. Going through menopause can be hard. What you really need to help you through this process is a menopause action plan. Sign up for my free guide on how to develop your own menopause action plan. I'll see you in the next video.